Ben Peterson here, Lake Mills, Iowa, uh, where we farm and I uh, run Sprout Ag Enterprises, uh, where we build planters like this. This is actually our personal planter. Uh, we call our custom planters Sow Masters, not to be confused with Sow Masters. Uh, so as in another word for seeding. Uh, anyway, so we always try to load our planter up with as many uh, precision planting products as we can. Uh, not only to be cutting edge and utilize the technology, but to demonstrate their value uh, to our customers. So uh, just item by item on this Sowmaster planner, what we have uh, would be our row by row hydraulic downforce uh, called Delta Force from Precision Planting, uh, which runs, uh, reads off of this uh, weight sensor on the gauge wheels to make sure that we always have ground contact with our, ga with our gauge wheels to make sure we have uh, the depth that we've set. Um, also, not too much down pressure to avoid sidewall compaction. Additionally, uh, electric, uh, electric drive meters on uh, V-Drive, um, on V-Set meters, uh, giving us very accurate singulation, very accurate spacing, um, and row by row ability to shut seating off uh, and not double up uh, where we've already planted. Uh, along with that, is a dual hybrid system called M set where is if you look in here the uh, the hopper is actually split in two and so we've got the center fill hoppers on this planter uh, uh, coated blue and uh, orange and we can have a different hybrid in each hopper and have the system change change hybrids on the fly uh, depending on whether it's a, uh, a drought prone soil or maybe a really high organic matter soil where uh, moisture uh, usually isn't an issue. Um, so that's uh, it's kind of a more, I would say fringe technology, but I'm, I've got big hope for, hopes for it in the future. Uh, the newer product is, would be Furrow Force closing system, uh, roll by row automatic. Uh, we can control how much weight is on this and making sure that our first stage is engaged with the soil, pinching that furrow shut, and, and then ensuring good seed soil contact. So in this year, where we had low moisture relative to other years, we were able to put more weight on these to, to push down on that, on that seed bed and make sure we had good seed soil contact to ensure good germination, which appears to have worked by and large. Uh, for fertility wise, we've got a liquid fertilizer system on here called FurrowJet. Um, here you see uh, what, a furrow jet assembly uh, with a firmer ahead of it and where we're able to knife into the sidewall three quarters of an inch uh, on both sides. And we actually put uh, nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus product in there, which would be too hot to put in furrow, but when we put it into the sidewall, it uh, ends up being very crop safe, uh, but efficient because we're in easy reach of that seed root. Um, Additionally, you don't see them on right now because uh, I took a lot of them off before we did our replanting. Uh, is a smart firmer. Uh, smart firmers read on the fly uh, things like soil temperature, organic matter, uh, clean furrow, whether we have residue in the furrow or not, which of course we don't want. Uh, and it's an information product. That also gives us organic matter readings, which we can then vary, vary our seeding rates our seeding hybrid and our fertility on the fly with as well. Uh, kind of one of the older products, but yet still a great one is clean sweep on these Martin row cleaners. Uh, we've got uh, an air cylinder in there that can add or reduce weight from those floating row cleaners to uh, not to mo only move residue and not soil. Uh, so depending on ground conditions, we'll adjust that visually so we get um, uh, we get the best performance out of them. So probably the newest product that we had on there this year would be the control of Clean Sweep through this module, uh, through our Gen 3 2020, uh, where that, that electronically from the cab, we could add or reduce weight uh, versus having a manual controller in the cab, which is uh, just basically a regulator. Uh, reducing cab clutter and I think refining control and being able to go back to a setting we know that's worked for us in the past. Uh, on the Harvest International side, because this is a Harvest International toolbar, uh, it's kind of the chassis of our hot rod, so to speak. Um, obviously, it's a tracked, it's a tracked planter. Uh, we've got a weight distribution system 
So it comes basically standard on most of the Harvest International planters we sell, where we can take weight off the center frame where we've got our center fill seed tanks, push it out onto the wings to distribute that weight more evenly, uh, uh, reduce pack compaction from these big center, center tracks or wheels, depending on what a customer has. Uh, but that, that kind of sums up what we're able to do with this so master planner from Harvest International and Precision Planning and Martin. Um, like I say, we, we build planners to a customer specification uh, using as little or as many products as, as they want, and they've all been different.